Hi, kids. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be continuing to look at our um, little children's message series where we're looking at how love never ends, God's love never ends. And today we're going to be looking at it through the spiritual gifts that we receive from the Holy Spirit when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So let me start our slides and we will get started. Now, our candy heart today, our, our conversation heart, is all about you, you are kind. You are kind. Now, each one of us has been blessed to have special gifts, things that we're good at, things that we enjoy, that we can share with each other. I mean, think of your own talents, again, the things that you enjoy the things you're good at, and think about the talents of those around you. I mean, there are so many ways for us to serve others. And we serve God by serving others. Now, can you think of some ways you can serve others? Maybe you can help with yard work or housework, or you, know, you can do errands. You can be kind, you can be helpful, things like that, right? Now, let me ask you a question. Why do you think God gives us gifts or these special talents? He gives them to us to be used for the common good, the common good of God's people and God's world. What does that mean? That means we're not supposed to to be proud and, and boastful about the gifts we have and use them just for our personal selves, but we're supposed to use them for the common good or to help God's people and God's world. And in doing that, we build up the body of Christ. We become one in Christ and we build up the body of Christ and then we're able to shine Jesus' light to everybody and share his love. So the gifts are not our personal possession to be stingy with, to be not shared with others, but to use to help others, to build up God's body for the common good. Listen to the, listen to the words from Paul from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 11, where Paul tells us there are different kinds of gifts but they're all given to believers, and that's us, by the same spirit. There are different ways to serve, but they all come from the same Lord. There are different ways, there are different ways, excuse me, the spirit works, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all people. The Holy Spirit is given to each of us in, in a special way. That is for the good of all. That's that common good I was talking about, and to build up the body. To some people, the Spirit gives a message of wisdom. To others, the same Spirit gives a message of knowledge. To others, the same Spirit gives faith. To others, that one Spirit gives gifts of healing. To others, he gives the power to do miracles. To others, he gives the ability to prophecy. And to others, he gives the ability to tell the spirits apart. To others, he gives the ability to speak in different kinds of languages they had not known before. And to still others, he gives the ability to explain what was said in those languages. All the gifts, all the gifts are produced by the one and same spirit. And he gives gifts to each person just as he decides. Now, these verses, they teach us that some people have the gift of wisdom and others have the gift of knowledge. Now, these gifts have to do with things like doing well in school, being able to make wise choices. Others have the gift of faith, which is a strong belief in the power and the love of God. And still others have the gift of healing. And to this, or to add to this, that some have gifts of music and art and strong sports skills. You know, I wonder what gifts you possess that were given to you by the Holy Spirit to make you just who you are, to be 
one of God's tools to be used by God in a special way. Paul says there are different kinds of gifts, but they are all given to believers. Again, that's you and me by the same spirit. We are each given different gifts, but all the gifts come from the same source. And when we all use our special gifts together, it's like a, it's like a good sports team where all the players are playing together. Each are playing their role, doing their job. And the team is good because everyone is doing what they're supposed to. Everyone is using their talents, their gifts, their strength to make everybody else better. And so we're each given gifts, different gifts by the Holy Spirit for that same reason, so that we can all use our gifts together, use our strengths together to make us all stronger, all better, all more able to shine the light of Christ, to share the love of Christ, and to bring glory and honor to God. So there are different kinds of gifts, but they're all given to believers by the same spirit. We each are given different gifts, but all the gifts come from the same source. And that source is who? Yeah, God, through the Holy Spirit. Now, can you think of a way that you can use the gifts that God has given you to show others about God's love. You know, maybe you're good at, at playing the piano. You could play worship music to sing for God. Maybe you're good at art. You could create artwork that honors God. The important thing is that we all need to recognize that all our special talents and gifts come from God. And we should all work together for the same purpose, the same common good, again, to build up the body of Christ, and most of all, to bring glory and honor to God. Giving God the glory and praise in recognition that God is the source, the source and the giver of our talents, our gifts. And again, when we work together, when we work together in the church to honor God, we can share God's love with others in our church, in our homes, in our schools, all around us. Look around at the people in our church. You know, I wonder what gifts you see in this church, in your friends, in other people. Again, our candy heart today is you are kind. Now, I wonder what you can do to share your special talents and gifts to serve others in a way that shows kindness. I wonder how you can honor God as the source of these gifts. And I wonder how you can find opportunities to share God's love with others. You are kind. Being kind is using our gifts, our special gifts from God for the common good of all, for the common good of, of other people, for the common good of God's creation, the world, animals, plants, etc. You are kind, using your gifts to build up the body of Christ so that together, we can shine the light of Christ and we can share the love of Christ with everyone and make our world a little nicer, a little brighter, a little kinder. Now, I want you to take your, your hands and put them into a heart shape, like in the picture there at the bottom. Okay, everybody got their, everybody got their hands in the heart shape? Say this prayer with me now, would you? God, the source of our gifts and special talents. We thank you for giving each of us such unique abilities. Help guide us to, to use those gifts to share your love to the world. Remind us to honor you always as we use our gifts and abilities. Amen. You are kind. Discover the things you're good at that you enjoy, the special gifts, talents that God has given you, and then use them. Share them with others. Use them to help 
the common good of God's world and to build up the body of Christ so that you can be an awesome light shiner and love sharer of Jesus Christ. And so you can bring glory and honor to God. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to being able to share another heart with you next week.